today I want to get into people saying that Jungkook might go live on his new Instagram. We also need to get into the mass amount of hate comments that have been on the account. And then we have people saying that Jungkook might delete his Instagram once again. So hey down please, this is Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. And make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. So there's a lot of stuff going on online and we have to talk about a new Instagram account that popped up. Now, if you're unaware of what Jungkook did before, then let me give you a quick little recap and then we'll get into sort of the new update on this. Jungkook did have an Instagram account before all the members of BTS did. He used his Instagram account to promote his personal life. I think by the time that he had his solo stuff, his Instagram wasn't active anymore. So he wasn't really using it to promote any professional stuff. But a couple of things that his Instagram account had was the comment section off, as well as he wanted it to be perfectly curated feed. So he made sure that every single post was absolutely beautiful and that it lined up. And I think ultimately that is what burned him out. I think ultimately when he looked at his feed, he didn't like how it looked. And I think that ultimately made him want to delete the account. A lot of people have many theories as to why he deleted his account. And many of the things such as him getting his privacy leaked around that time, there was some invasion of privacy with stalkers. And so many people think that he was just kind of taking away access from himself. However, the people who were following him on Instagram didn't really have access to him to begin with because he had his comment section off and he wasn't really answering DMs. It's not like you could message him and ask him a bunch of random questions anyway. Plus, if people wanted access to him and wanted to leave comments, they could easily go over to Weverse and leave a comment because those comment sections were actually open. Now, something crazy happened today where a bunch of people noticed an account that seemed like it could have been John Cooks. Now, as far as I'm aware, I don't think his dog ever had an Instagram account and I don't think it was ever made. However, people started to notice that there was an account that seemingly seemed like it was portraying themselves as Jungkook's dog. There were no photos at the time, I don't believe. I think it was just the username. Quickly after that, Jungkook went over to Weverse and actually posted about the account and gave the official username, which was the account that most people had thought was the official account. The account gains traction very quickly. I mean, within just a matter of a few hours, it went from whatever it was to over 2 million followers, which now makes it one of the fastest growing animal or pet pages ever. And people like to say that they're following it for the dog or that the dog has a fan page. However, I don't know if that's true. I think people are following it specifically just to see if there's any hints of dog in there, which there was, as there was even a reel that was posted on there where it seemed like he was really happy and he was playing with his dog. Now, a lot of people are concerned Concerned that he might go ahead and delete this page, similar to how he deleted his old page, and given that history can repeat itself sometimes, if there is a possibility of that. Now, going back slightly to where I say that a lot of people were following the account because they wanted to get breadcrumbs of John Cook, I can actually prove this. This comment section of the account has nothing to do with the dog. In fact, most of the comments are about John Cook and about things that he's done, people asking for things or people posting specific rumors. Now, there was one rumor that people were a bit concerned about. If you went on the comment section, you very quickly saw a bunch of people posting and asking Jungkook if he is dating V. Any other rumor and any other fantasy that people have or desire that they might have for two people to be together, these things are usually kept quiet and the community would prefer if it's just the thing within the community and not something that the members themselves are made aware of because they don't want the artist or Jungkook to think that the community is crazy. Now, a lot of people were scared that due to these comments and the things that were posted in the comment section that he might go ahead and actually delete his Instagram account. And other people were saying that this is exactly why the comment section needs to be closed. I will say this, and maybe this can be something that people will have a big sigh of relief from, but I don't think he sits there and reads comments all day because obviously he's in the military and even if he wasn't in the military, he would be busy promoting and making music. So he's probably not sitting there reading every single comment. And bottom line is he knows what's going on in the community. He knows what people are saying. So he would definitely be aware of these types of rumors and those comments that would exist to begin with. So he's not going to think anything more of it than what he thought probably when he first saw the rumor. At this point, it's just him seeing the same thing over and over again. I'm sure he doesn't really have much of a reaction to it except, oh, this again. Now, do I think he'll delete this one? 
based on what I'm seeing so far? I would say the answer is no. And I initially did believe that he would have deleted his first Instagram account. Like if people told me that he was on his way to do that, I would not have been surprised. He seemed very uncomfortable doing it. He seemed like he was having a hard time figuring out the features where you can see that now he, that he's on TikTok, or when he's on Weverse, he isn't really confused on how the platform works. And the way Instagram works is that it's very confusing for a lot of people, especially new people. If you're someone who has been on Instagram since the beginning, it might not be as confusing because those added features were added on one at a time. So you had photos, then you had stories, and he had reels, and he had Instagram TV, highlights, going live, so many things. And these things are confusing if it was just someone new that decided to join Instagram and they were hit with this all at once. Whereas most of us who have been on Instagram, maybe since the beginning, have probably slowly been able to use those features and it's probably not as confusing to us. And then added on top of that, he probably felt like he needed to curate his feed to make it beautiful. And a lot of stuff that made him feel like it was a chore rather than something fun. Which brings me to my next point, which is I don't think he would delete this one because I think he would have a lot more fun posting BAM and posting his animals. I think his passion is taking pictures of his animals and he probably has a lot of them on his phone. So definitely something he would love to do, I'm sure. If you check out BTS's reality show In The Soup, you'll see that Jungkook actually brings BAM in one of the seasons and they have a great time. And I think the community fell in love with BAM at that point. And if you do want to watch that series and react to it with me, then make sure you check it out on Patreon. I've reacted to both seasons of this and if you're interested it's right at the top of the description. There's currently a one dollar tier that is open. There are some limited spots but there are some spots that are open right now if you decide to join so I hope to see you there. Other people were wondering if Jungkook would do other things on the Instagram account. There were some people online that were hoping that he would accidentally click the live button and other people were just hoping that he would go live in general. And of course my concern is that if you were to accidentally hit the live button which is totally possible on Instagram because it's in a position in which you can absolutely hit it, whether you're just posting a story or whatever it is. And if he were to be naked or shirtless, that would be bad. Although not the first time that he has this happen because he has been shirtless during a live stream before. I think in this case, if he's going to stick to a theme of his page, he might just go live if he's playing with his dog. But what would even be worse is if you were to hit the live streaming button while he was potentially just scrolling on Instagram while he was at the camp and he just goes live from the camp. Although I would assume the camp probably has terrible Wi-Fi, so chances are that wouldn't happen. But right now he has not gone live and I don't think that he will go live on Instagram unless it's a video of him playing with this dog, which is probably the only thing I can imagine that would make sense for him. But hey, maybe one day he will go live and that will be his way of being on Instagram without directly being on Instagram. And it could also be a way where he doesn't feel as much pressure to go live to post or to do any of those things. Unlike his previous account, which he potentially felt like there was a lot of pressure to grow, there was a lot of pressure to have a really good account and really curated feed. And in this case, since it's just his dog, he might not feel like he has that pressure and this could be a way for him to be reintroduced to the platform, get used to it, and then maybe want to relaunch his old account again. And who knows, maybe his old account is still out there. It's just in this privatized mode or something. I don't know. The chances of BTS and the label having access to Instagram and for them to do something that we can't even do or see, they probably can do that. But I am genuinely curious on how you feel about this and if you're excited for the fact that he even has an Instagram account or are you upset because you've been waiting so long for him to potentially relaunch an Instagram account or potentially start posting again on social media and his first post back is technically a video or several pictures of his dog instead of something of himself. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos, I'll link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.